Hey guys, Emma here. Today I'm bringing you a gentle yoga sequence to follow along to. We'll be targeting mainly the lower back, but I've added a few shoulder and psoas stretches too. Today we'll start in extended child's pose. Feel the gentle stretch in the shoulders and maybe raise the fingers for slightly more of a stretch. Then we'll begin to warm up the spine by flowing from extended child's pose to tabletop. Round through the spine. As you do this, try and create a small wave in your spine. Wave back and forth. After a couple of those, we're going to hold tabletop position. We're going to bring the knees under the hips and begin a gentle cat-cow. Begin by pressing the chest down, pulling the head up and back, and then transition into the cat pose by pressing into the fingertips and really reaching up with the back. Keep the wrist below the shoulders. Press into the back. And sink down. Press and sink down. Now from tabletop, we'll go down into puppy pose. You want to melt your heart to the ground here. You'll begin to feel an, a nice opening in the shoulders. Make sure you keep the knees below your hips. We're gonna hold puppy pose for a minute, play around, see how the shoulders feel. You can raise fingertips. From puppy pose, we're gonna round forward into sphinx pose. Sphinx pose, you wanna rest your forearms on the ground and really press into the thighs. It's kind of a variation of cobra and up dog, so you want to press your chest forward as well. In Sphinx Pose, we'll start some twists, so extend your left arm, bend your right arm, try and press off the ground. And again on the other side, extend the right arm, press off the ground, and just kind of twist around here for a minute. Just warm the back up. I'll come back up into extended child's pose and round up into tabletop again. From tabletop, you're going to want to take your left leg, put it behind your right leg, and take your left arm and extend it to the right, and then lift your left leg up and really create this really nice side stretch. Come back into the middle, and same thing on the other side. Just hold it here. Now we're going to take it back to the middle tabletop and press up into your downward facing dog. So again, your heels don't have to touch the floor here. Just feel what feels good. You can play around here again, twist side to side. Get another side stretch and extend the legs to the side so they're a little bit wider than your mat and take your left arm and hold on to your right leg. Now do it on the other side. And bring it back to the middle, feet back onto the mat and you can round forward into plank pose a few times. I love doing this, just warms the back up Find another wave here, try different movements, and plank, make sure you're sinking into the heels. Then we're going to jump or walk up to the front of the mat into halfway lift. Just hold this for a minute. Elongate the back here by pressing on the thighs. Try and make it nice and straight. Come down to a very brief forward fold back up just get a little bit of rounding in the back then we'll come into our chair pose so tuck the ribs ground through the feet here and step your left foot back 
the arch of the left foot should be lined up with the front right heel. Spread your arms wide and look past your right arm. From here we'll do a gentle yoga flow. From here we're coming to an extended side angle pose. Take your left arm, extend it over your head, your right arm on your thigh. Then back into reverse warrior, so left arm on the left leg. Then turn your front foot to the right and come into a wide-legged forward fold. Raise your left arm up and create another back twist here. Engage the abs while doing this. And reverse it. So left arm on the ground and right arm up. From here, turn your feet outwards to the short corners of your mat. Careful with balance here and come into goddess pose. Hold this for a minute. If you want, you can add some little twists here. Make sure you have your balance. And then we'll progress into warrior on the other side. So bend your left leg, extend your right leg. Look past your left arm and hold warrior two. Then this time we'll start in reverse warrior. So look up at your left arm, raise your left arm, right arm on the right leg. Come forward, extended side angle again right arm this time, reaching upwards. Come back up, hands on the ground, adjust, turn into a lunge, and sit, stand forward into chair pose. Again, tuck the ribs, look up or straight downwards, create a bend in those legs, then come up into mountain pose, down into restful forward fold, Back up into halfway lift. And with the momentum from chair pose, come down onto your back. From here, give yourself a gentle massage in the back by moving around slightly. Hug your knees in. Kind of feel the mat on your back. Then from here, we'll extend our right leg out, right arm and right leg out to stretch that whole side while keeping the left knee tucked in. And just hold that for a second. Then we'll reverse sides, left leg and arm out, right knee in. Come back up, tuck the knees in again and massage the back again. Now for the next few stretches, I'll be using a yoga block, but if you don't have one, I'll show a few alternative poses here. But if you do wanna try, and you can also try with stacking cushions, um, we're gonna try and stretch the psoas and different parts of the back in a deeper way. Be cautious and listen to your body here when trying these stretches, they can be quite intense. To start, we'll place a block under our lower back right above the glutes and extend the legs outward for a hip so as in lower back stretch. Up to you where you want to place the hands. It can be above your head or at your sides. Come back up. We'll do a bridge here. You can hold on to a block. You can connect the hands for a shoulder stretch. You can even sit on a block or have an assisted bridge with the block. You want to tense the glutes and really press the chest forward. Come back down, hug the knees again, and we'll move on to the back stretches. So for this, you want to put a block right above your butt, lower back here. Rest your shoulders on the ground, shoulders and head on the ground, and keep the butt raised for a lower back stretch. And just hold. Then move the block higher up your back, right underneath the ribs, and place your butt on the ground while pressing that chest upward. Your shoulders do not need to be on the ground for this. Option here to extend the hands out to get a deeper shoulder stretch. We'll 
come back down, hug the knees in again, just to kind of undo what we did. Just kind of relax the back. Take the legs to the side into reclined cobbler's pose. Make a nice C grip with your hands. Press on those thighs right underneath the hips. And extend that lower back just with that gentle pressure. You can place blocks underneath your knees here if your knees need a little bit of support. Just hold that. And we'll bring the legs back up, hug again to the chest, come up into a seat. Legs extended out, you can bend forward if you want to, to get a little backgrounding again. Going to take our left leg and place it over our right leg, and take our right arm and put it behind the left knee. Use your left arm for support. Try and keep your back straight here in the seated spinal twist. You can have the arm up or hugging the knee. And reverse on the other side. Right leg over left leg. And twist. Twist from the navel here. Again, keep the abs tight if you can. To finish off, we'll come back into easy pose, which is a pretzel kind of a seat. And we'll gently stretch the neck. Take your left arm and pull your head to the left slightly while resting the right hand on the floor. Then place your left hand on the floor and pull your right arm over your head. Now to the other side, the right arm pulls head to the right. left arm comes over to the right. And that's it for today. Nice job. Thanks for following along and I hope you feel more calm and relaxed after that gentle back release.